Good day, it's Tony for Gennaro from the technology firm. Today we are going to do something a little different. We're mixing uh, some Microsoft operating system server message block type troubleshooting with Wireshark. So it's going to go back and forth. Now just a little disclaimer, I am not a certified Microsoft guy, so if you could please refrain from putting all your support questions in the comment area, that would be awesome. And we'll jump right into it. So we have our um, the basically the test goal and the, and the background information on this is quite simple. There's a device running Windows 7. It's configured with some shares to its local drives, like a storage server or a little NAS, that type of thing. And every so often, uh, you can't connect to the shares. Uh, Android users just see a little spinning processing icon, and Windows users get a whole variety of connection errors when they try to connect to this share. The only solution uh, they could find is reboot the Windows 7 device and it's gotten so bad that they actually put a script on it with a scheduler so it reboots the computer daily. So obviously we're trying to find a better solution than that. So what do we do? We want to capture some packets from the computer when it happens again. And by noon we had a capture. So let's take a look at that. Hope your screen's got some good resolution so you can kind of read this top part here. And um, I'm going to just review the, the three milestones here. Packets 4, 7, and 8 is the three-way handshake. Uh, for the people who don't know who the server and the client is, a little trick for you, a little tip. When you see these numbers here, these are the port numbers, and you can see it talking to 445, right? So 445 is SMB. And um, that means I'm talking to the server. That's an arrow. So that means I'm talking to the server, which means it's 94. So dot 94 is a server. And then here you can see the server talking back to the client. So it's from 94 and so on. So the first thing we want to do is make sure the three-way three, three -way handshake is working fine. And it is. You have a sin, ack, sin, ack. That's good. If we would have seen something like a fin or a reset, something like that intermixed in here, that would have been a bad thing. Uh, you also probably want to make sure you have a display filter for this conversation. So you right click on one of the packets and you can have a conversation filter and that filters on these TCP conversations so we don't get other stuff mixed in with it as well. So now we get to packet 9 and 10. We have packet 9 trying to negotiate this protocol, the protocol being a language and like all languages you have a dialect so he's trying to pick a dialect and packet 10 server comes back and says out of memory so things don't work after that. So I did some research and I came across some uh, information that was helpful and it mentions that if you want to use a Windows 7 computer as a proper they use the word proper I don't know what that means but proper file server it needs to allocate resources accordingly so you have to change these two things in your registry and then restart the server service now obviously you could also reboot the computer but I just restarted the service and we did another capture and you could see Cincinnac and negotiate protocol request and now you have a response it doesn't say out of memory and in here you can actually see the dialect or the index that it chose to use in this case it's 0 ntlm 0.12 that's always nice to know if you want to make a, a note of that for baselining purposes and you can even see things like maximum buffer size is stated here as well so it worked great things are good but the problem is intermittent so you have to wait obviously for a while and the problem typically occurs within two days and if there's a lot of usage then it would be uh, more frequent than that so wait 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 and make sure we turn off that automated reboot so that doesn't do anything in the background that's going to mask our problem and after a full week everything's good so that's how we used Wireshark to make sure that the changes took effect by recording the problem at the packet level making our change and then recording the end result. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.